prepared the new Fortix Strato 2.4GHz wireless 4.1 trigger set. You can use it to trigger um, a camera in a wide mode or can trigger it wirelessly. You can also trigger hot shoe flashes with some TTR capabilities as well as you can trigger um, studio strobes. So these are the things in the package. So we will go through a demo by one. So here we have the um, transmitter. It takes uh, AAA batteries. So it's either for Canon or Nikon because the flash will mount here onto your hot shoe. This flash will have TTR capabilities. It also has uh, four channels that you can choose from and an on-off switch. And for the receiver, it's, uh, it's quite similar but uh, we don't think there's TTL at the moment. You can trigger uh, a wired remote through this, through this jack, you plug a cable through this jack, and as well as turn off the power and you can select the four channels over here. And through the package, there also be uh, a triple E batteries that is given, as well as um, um, 3.5mm jack you can connect to your strobes. If you have a larger strobe, you can also connect using this quarter inch adapter. There's also a 3.5 to a PC sync cord if you want to connect directly to your speed light. Any speed lights that has a PC sync, it's come with a screw. As well as a manual and uh, some lanyards. That's a wide and wireless remote, so you can simply trigger your camera using the receiver or you can use the wireless portion. You must set them to the same channel and then this will trigger. There are many combinations where you can use this setup. So the transmitter is modded on a Canon 5D here and a 580DX Mark II is modded on the receiver. So you can trigger a camera and then you get a, you get a response over here. So you can also look at it in this point of view. So you can get triggering from early firing from the receiver transmitter to the receiver. There are many more combinations where you can use this setup. You can mount the flash onto the transmitter itself. This flash will get um, TTL. And then receiver wise, you can connect it to a camera so you can trigger another camera when you press this button. You can also connect a flash here remotely. This flash will not get TTL. If you mount a flash here while connected to the camera, to the receiver, this flash will get TTL. So one option is firing in this way. So you get, you get a connection on, on both sides. 